Hello, my dear students. Welcome sa ang klase sa agham ni Teacher Christine. In our daily life activities, we use various types of things. Some of them are in solid state. Some of them are in liquid state, and some of them are in gaseous state. But most of them are called mixtures. Some of the common examples of mixtures that we use in our daily lives are coffee, milk and water, soil, biogas, even the air that we breathe is a mixture. From all of the examples, we can understand that when two or more substances Mixed together, the resulting mass is called a mixture. There are many forms of mixture, and we will discuss them today. Are you ready? To start a lesson, we will do a picture analysis. Figure 1 shows garbage in the landfill. You will identify if the materials in the landfill are still recognizable or not. Check the corresponding column if the components can be identified or cannot be identified. Number one, soft drink inside a bottle. Number two, rotten vegetables. Number three, plastic wrappers mixed with soil. Are you done? Which of the substances can be identified? And which of the substances cannot be identified? You know now that there are differences in the components of a mixture. What can you do to help our garbage collector? Yes, that's good. You need to sort out your trash first before dumping it in your trash can so that you will know what materials can be reused and recyclable? Let's do activity time. Comparing homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Our problem, how are mixtures classified? What you need is water, two glasses, salt, and oil. What you need to do is to prepare two glasses of jars or beakers. Fill each container with 2 ml of water and put 1 teaspoon of salt in one glass while pour 1 teaspoon of cooking oil in another glass. Stir gently. Observe how many faces you can see and a kind of mixture form. Label the glass for container A, the salt and water mixture, and container B for cooking oil and water mixture. What have you found out? What kind of mixture did you form when you mix salt and water? Can you still recognize salt from water? Why? What kind of mixture did you form when you mix oil and water? Can you still recognize oil from water? Why? What type of mixture is container A? You're right, it is a homogeneous mixture. How about container B? Yes, oil and water is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Can you make a conclusion based on our given problem?
Let's check your knowledge. Classify each mixture as homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Don't forget to complete the assessment at the end of the lesson to test your understanding and share your results in the comment section down below. Let me quote a saying from my favorite scientist, Marie Curie. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more and fear less. This is teacher Christine saying, till next time, hanggang sa muli!